When Minnesotan Artem Moskovkin arrived in Cancun on Friday, his good friend Igor Sapigo says it was the first vacation the 30-year-old had ever taken. Sapigo was the last one to see Moskovkin Friday night, having drinks on this hotel balcony in Moskovkin's room. Kissed him on the forehead, said goodbye, you know, kind of like, see you tomorrow. Um, and that was it. Sapigo now believes it's possible, based on photos shown to him by resort staff, that after he left, Moskovkin fell off the balcony. It's possible Moskovkin crawled more than 30 feet while injured into the garden area where he was found the next morning. Regardless of how he was hurt, Sapigo says the medical treatment was egregious. Moskovkin's friends had to start a GoFundMe page because Sapigo says surgeons at the private hospital where Moskovkin was taken wouldn't operate until they received an eight to $10,000 deposit. His family didn't know whether to believe the message they received from the hospital at first. I mean, the message was very, very uh, short. It said, hey, uh, your brother's in the hospital. We need a payment of $8,000 to do anything. So, and his brother's initially, what would they talk to first? They didn't know if it was a scam or the real thing. Without the immediate payment, Sapigo says Moskovkin was transferred to the Cancun General Hospital, where a day later, he died. If they would have done something immediately, I think he might have been still alive. The U.S. State Department warns that many people have filed complaints about private hospitals in Mexico requiring payment up front with exorbitant prices and inflexible collection measures. We still don't know the result of the autopsy. Police did not begin to investigate until Moskovkin's brother arrived in Mexico after his death and personally requested it. Randy?